Hi everybody, welcome to story time. I can't believe a whole entire week has gone by. That is just amazing. Tonight while we're waiting for everybody to come in, I want to encourage all of you to do something special for somebody. A couple of weeks ago on FGI Kids, Levi Ackerman, he did a show for them on how to make homemade pasta and meatballs. And he didn't just do that show, but then him and his whole family, mommy, daddy, Owen, they all pulled into my driveway. Yes, yes. They brought me a bottle of homemade sauce and homemade meatballs. And they were just awesome. He did an amazing job. And that just shows me that no matter how old we are, we can do something special to just make someone's day, can't we? It was really, really nice that he and his family brought me some. But then on top of all of that, they tasted wonderful. So the whole time I ate, I just kept thanking Levi and his family for being so kind to me and my husband. So this week, I want to encourage you to find something that you can do. It's as easy as making a card. I know uh, Jordan sent me a card one day saying she couldn't wait to play Barbies with me. And my heart just was so happy and so excited because she cared about me. And so will you this week find something to do to show somebody that you really, really care about them? Yeah, and it's it's easy. Sometimes it's just seeing that they're tired and you say, you sit there and I'll go get you a drink of water. It's it's easy to be kind, isn't it? We just, we just have to do a little bit of thinking to make that happen. So tonight, I think we're all here and I think that we're all ready. Again, I hope you had a fantastic day. I know I did. And... It's good to be together tonight. The story that I'm going to read you tonight is called The Whispering Rabbit. Can you whisper? Go ahead. Whisper. There you go. You know how to whisper, huh? Well, this is about the whispering rabbit. And this rabbit, oh, oh does he get into some trouble? And there's a reason why he's called the Whispering Rabbit. So let's get reading and let's find out all about it. Now, these were stories that I used to read when I was a little girl. I have to say, though, I never, ever heard this story. But these are from the books called The Little Golden Book. And when I was a little girl... I used to love to have my mommy or anyone I could find. And my sister Marie, who was one of my very best friends, even though she was my sister, she would play dolls with me and we would have tea parties together. She, she was a great sister. She did tease me a lot, though. And sometimes I would get really upset with the teasing that she would do. But... I don't remember that as much as her being my very, very good friend. Um, she just was a wonderful sister to me. And so she would read to me a lot because she was three years older than me. So when I was five, she was eight. And she, oh, I used to think she was so smart because I couldn't do all the things that she could do. And then one day I realized... It wasn't that she was smarter than me. It was just she had learned more than me. And if I just waited a little bit longer, then I could. And one day I found myself reading 
to my sister, who was five years younger than me. And she thought I was the smartest person in all the world too. So anyway, wherever you are, some of you today, I have to read to you because you haven't learned to read yet, but you're going to. And then some of you, you could read to me. But today, I get to bless you with a story. See? See how those blessings come around. And this is one of my most favorite things to do, is read stories to you. So let's find out what happens with this little rabbit, okay? Once there was a sleepy little rabbit who began to yawn. <sighs> Did I make you yawn? <laughs> Isn't it funny when you say yawn, you're like, <sighs> you start to yawn. Does that happen to you? It happens to me all the time. And this little rabbit, he yawned and he yawned and he yawned and he yawned. Oh, <sighs> Do you ever get so tired and you just want to go to bed and you just keep yawning and yawning? <laughs> yeah. And lots of times your mama will say, you're getting sleepy, you're yawning. Well, little rabbit was getting sleepy. He opened his little rabbit mouth when he yawned till you could see his white front teeth and his little round pink mouth. Let's try that, ready? One, two, three. Could you see my little white teeth <laughs> and my pink mouth? Yeah, I. if I was with you, I would have been able to see yours too. And suddenly, while he was in the middle of a great big yawn, a, blue, a bee flew into his mouth and he swallowed the bee. <gasps> oh no! Look at, oh my goodness. I guess we need to be careful when we yawn, huh? <laughs> wow! Oh! Who said a big round owl? Always keep your paw in front of your mouth when you yawn. Who did the owl? Rabbits, rabbits never do that, said the sleepy little rabbit. Silly, silly rabbits, said the owl. And he flew away. There's the owl talking to the little rabbit. Have you ever seen a rabbit put its paw in front of its mouth? I haven't either. I never have seen that. The little rabbit wanted to call after the owl. He opened his mouth to speak. But the bumblebee was curled up asleep in his throat. <gasps> and all the little rabbit could do was whisper. <gasps> owl, owl, come back, owl. <sighs> what would you do if you had a bee sleeping in your throat? <gasps> I don't even like to think about that. There's the owl flying away and little rabbit can't get his attention. What shall I do? He whispered to a squirrel who wasn't sleepy. Wake him up, said the squirrel. Wake up the bumblebee. How? Whispered the rabbit. All I can do is whisper. And I'm really, really sleepy. And I just want to go to sleep. But who can sleep with a bumblebee? 
and talking to the squirrel. Isn't that a cute squirrel? Yeah. And there's his friend in the hole. <laughs> We're going to hear about that friend in a minute. Suddenly, a wise old groundhog, yes, that was his friend in the hole, popped up out of the ground. All I can do is whisper, said the little rabbit. All the better, said the groundhog. Come here, little rabbit, he said. And I will whisper to you how to wake up a bumblebee. You have to be making the littlest noise that you can possibly make. Because a bumblebee doesn't bother about big noises. He is a very little bee and he only is interested in little noises. Like a loud whisper, said the rabbit. Too loud, said the groundhog, and he popped back down into his hole. See the groundhog whispering to him? Yep. And off he goes. He's going back to his hole. Do you think that was good advice? Let's see. A little noise, whispered the rabbit, and he started making little rabbit noises. He made a noise as quiet as the sound of a bird's wing cutting the air, but the bee didn't wake up. Can we try making that noise? You ready? Get your wings going. That's a pretty quiet noise, isn't it? But it didn't wake up the bee. So the little rabbit made the sound of snow falling, but the bee didn't wake up. Hmm, what is the sound of snow falling? It's very, very quiet, but I think it's kind of like, whoosh. can you try that? Or whatever sound you think that snow makes. Sometimes when snow has too much ice in it, it goes on the window, yeah? Okay, let's try it. <laughs> I don't know if we made the sound of snow falling or not, but we tried. <laughs> there he is. He's thinking about snow falling. Wow. He's got a job to do, huh? So, that didn't work. So the little rabbit made the sound of a bug breathing. Have you ever heard a bug breathe? Because I never have. Let's try it, okay? What do you think it is? <laughs> do you think that we got it? I think this one we know. Well, maybe we don't. He tried making the sound of a fly sneezing. <laughs> Let's try that one, okay? I know they go, but that's too loud. So let's try it. I don't even know if a fly can sneeze. And you know what? There he is trying to, to be that bug breathing. But even he started laughing when he tried to make the sound of a fly sneezing. Just like we did. Uh, 
<laughs> That's too funny. And then Little Rabbit tried to make the sound of grass rustling. Now that sound I just love when the wind blows and the grass like starts and it goes something like But the bumblebee is still sleeping in Little Rabbit's throat. Nothing is waking him up. And then he tried doing a firefighter thinking. <laughs> I don't know how to do a firefighter thinking except... He must be quiet and he just must be thinking in his mind. Do you ever do that? Like this picture, let's look at it. See, here he is trying to make the sound of the rustling grass. But then he has a firefighter and see how the firefighter is thinking. I think he's thinking, how am I going to put this house fire out? Do I need to get my hose? Do I need to turn on the hose and get water coming out of it? But for all of that, still, the bee was sleeping in Little Rabbit's throat. How scary. Because we all know that bees sting and it hurts. Raise your hand if you ever got stung by a bee. Oh, man, does it hurt. Oh, it's like sharp pains going through your fingers, and it hurts really bad. So, Little Rabbit had to wake up this sleeping bee, but not make the sleeping bee think he's going to get hurt or he's going to sting him right in his throat. <gasps> that would be horrible, wouldn't it? Yes, it would be. So the rabbit sat and he thought of all the little sounds he could think of. What could they be? A sound quiet as snow melting? Well, snow melting, when you think about it, is like drip, 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 drip. yeah. When it like drips off, and if you're not careful, you'll walk out and a, a drop will fall right on your head. <laughs> yeah. He thought as quiet as a flower growing. I have never, ever been able to hear a flower growing. How about you? Look at him. And I have never, ever heard the sound of a snowman melting. He is really thinking hard, isn't he? Have you ever had something happen and you had to think this hard? Wow, that's a lot of thinking. Then he thought as quiet as an egg resting in its shell. Oh, I have never, ever thought of that. Quiet as... <gasps> and suddenly... He knew the little noise that he would make. That's what happens when you just keep thinking. He got an idea. And he began to make this noise. What do you think it was? It was the sound like a little click made hundreds of miles away by a bumblebee in an apple tree that had flowers in full bloom way, way up on the top of a mountain top, hundreds of miles away way up on a mountaintop in a tree, an apple tree that's got 
thousands of flowers all in bloom. Now that's a lot of thinking. It was the very small click of a bee swallowing some honey from one of those apple bloom flowers. Wow. Look at him thinking. And there's the bloom of a flower in an apple tree. And there's the bee drinking all that pollen to make honey. I don't know. That's quite a thought to think, isn't it? And at that, the bee woke up. <laughs> it worked. He started going. And the bee woke up. He thought he was missing something and away he flew. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at, look at little rabbit. Oh my goodness. Little rabbit. He's got his mouth right open. Let's try it. <laughs> now, I'm not sure it was the sound or it was his tongue making a wave. Because look at <laughs> Does your tongue do that when you try to make a clicking sound from hundreds of miles away, way up on the top of a mountaintop while you're getting honey out of a flower? Wow. And the bee flew away. The bee thought he was missing something. I hear that sound. He was going to go take off to get himself something to eat. And then what did little rabbit do? Oh, that sleepy little rabbit. Look at little rabbit's eyes. Are your eyes starting to look like that right now? Cause you're getting sleepy. <laughs> little rabbit is so sleepy now. Cause remember at the beginning of the story, little rabbit was sleepy. So little rabbit, he closed his mouth. <clears throat> he closed his eyes. He closed his ears. How do you close your ears? I don't. Are you doing that too? Isn't it funny when you do this? You can actually hear your mind thinking. <laughs> And he tucked in his little paws and he twitched his nose. How do you twitch your nose? I don't, I'm twitching my eyebrows and I'm twitching my lips. Here I go. Can you do it? Did you get it? It's hard to twitch your nose like a rabbit, isn't it? Yes. And then little rabbit. He went sound asleep. Oh, look at little rabbit. Oh, he's sound asleep with no bee in his throat. What a great story, huh? And look where little bee went to. Little bee went to find a beautiful flower to have some supper. Oh, what a cute story, huh? Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did trying to be a rabbit, getting a bee out of my throat. So the next time you yawn, I would suggest you put your hand over your throat so a bee don't fly in and decide to have a nap in your throat. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time for us to say goodbye. 
But before we do, let's take a few minutes to just wrap our arms around Jesus and know that he's going to go to sleep with us tonight and he's going to give us good dreams because he loves us so much. And you make sure you tell him how much you love him and then give him the biggest hug ever because he made little rabbits and he made little bees and he made even you. And he said, oh, I just love who I made today. So whatever your name is, Jesus loves you. Jesus made you and you're the best. Till next week, I love you all bunches. Mwah! Sending you hugs and kisses. You have a great week. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming in.